Okay guys, welcome to the May home update, the second one. <laughs> There's a lot going on, we just pulled up. We have so many trucks here, so many vans, paintings going on in the inside, staining on the outside, concrete around the pool. It looks like, what's that truck over there? Uh, spray foam. Spray foam's going on. Today is a very, very busy day here at the house. but I'm just so glad all of our floors are finally taped off because they've been getting us so dirty since they put them in. The painters just left while we were unloading the car from the lights and stuff. So I thought we would come in here together. They've started the paint. So you're gonna see, I think all the trim was done today. You can see right there, that's all looking so good. And anything that's like taped off with like paper is stained. So they already stained it, but we're not gonna really be able to see it because it's all covered because now they're doing the painting. But they did paint the cabinets in here, started it. And there's the white. So all this will be white. And then this is stained. And then we have the wood floors. Once again, I have the wrong backsplash. <laughs> so me and Chase have been talking about it. And worst case, if it looks bad, like if it's too much white, at least it's like a small area here and right here. So we can just pay someone to come in and fix it another time but I really hate to delay closing over it even though it wasn't our mistake but if you notice like all of this was wood last time I showed you guys so that's all been painted so I did white trim around the doors and then the wood door is oak itself I wanted the door to pop and not the trim so that's why we did that those all got stained. You can tell right here, this is where they've been painting probably the cabinets. They've got them all there. All the floors are covered. Oh, it's warm in here. They had to close up all the windows and stuff. Here's a room with more light so you can kind of see it. They haven't painted the walls yet, but the trim is painted. I don't think they've started. Yeah, they haven't like, Painted inside the closets. They'll probably do that when they do the walls because it's the same color. But everything was stained. I wish I would have gotten probably some more footage of it, but we were gone. We were out of state with Savannah's dance stuff, but you can see behind that plastic that's them. They're all stained and ready to go. So it is looking good. What's funny is from the date they're telling us today, he's saying we're gonna do our final walkthrough in two weeks. And look at this, like, is it possible? Probably, does it seem like a stretch? I'm gonna say yes, but I'm hoping it's just like an HGTV show where it just like comes together like a miracle. <laughs> Do we look two weeks out? It does not. <laughs> it does not, but I know once all the painting's done, it should go quickly because they wanna start doing the lights and like the plumbing fixtures. And like at that point it is just kind of like detail, like they'll put in all of our hardware. But man, we still have to have bathtubs put in. We still have to finish tiling in Savannah's bathroom. Um, they have to do all like the can lighting. They still have to paint Chase's building, both doors on it. I'm trying to think what else. I mean, it's, it can definitely be done. They have to bring in appliances and install all those. 
So, I mean, it can get done if he gets people here and they show up, but I will say it is going to be insane if I'm in here in like two and a half weeks and it's clean and I'm moving in and I'm not walking on dirt and dust <laughs> and it's not full of ladders and tools. I cannot wait to show you this view one day and it just be like cleaned out with just one car in it. Well, two with chases, but so much stuff. They got that painted. We just got to the house and it is packed with people. So let's see what's going on. Like they painted the garage door, so I'll come back later. When it dries, they have it up. Oh yeah, and they painted this door too. Oh, I'll come back later this evening so we can see it once it's shut up. I'm excited to see like a solid black building. And then if you can see out here, they're working on our pool and adding the water feature on it, like a little waterfall on the back. So there are a ton of workers today. I have a major home update for you. So all the paintings done, look how like cleared out this is. This is just all the like supplies from them cleaning up. We actually have doors back on. <laughs> so I'm gonna start here and take you through. It's starting to look like a home. We're actually here today because in two days um, on Monday, um, basically everyone's scheduled to come. So we have to put all the lights out, all the like plumbing, so they know which room for it to go into. I'm gonna be putting out all the hardware like in each spot so they know exactly where it goes. But oh, it's so nice to have floors again and just see everything come together. I think it was in the last update. It may have been this one, but basically they put in the wrong backsplash. And I wanted so bad to make it work, but now that it's all done, I think we're gonna have to have it ripped out. We're gonna go ahead and just like close and get moved in and then just pay to have someone come in and take it out and put in what we actually ordered because it's just so much white now. Like all the walls are white, all of this is white, all that's white, it's just not the look I was wanting. So <laughs> that'll be a future home um, project. We're kind of talking with our builder now, waiting to hear what that estimate's gonna be, but it's really hard to slow down because we're gonna have to be out of our house soon too, even though we're running it back. They still want their house, and so I feel bad um, just keeping it too long. So it's a pretty backsplash. I just think it's too much with all the white paint. If we would have left these white oak, I think it would have been perfect. Like I could have totally made it work, but like when I stand back here, it's just a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, of, a lot of white. And I really wanted it to be more organic. So other than that, things are looking good. Um, it's gonna be hard to tell on camera all the stains and the lighting just because there's no lights in here. So you're getting different shadows. Um, the island looks really good. Up close, I feel like it matches the floors really well. When I stand back, but once again, like lighting's off. The stain's a little bit darker than what I wanted, but I think it turned out really well knowing everything we had to go through to find it <laughs> because we came up with a custom one last minute. But here's my office. Here's this angle. I'm sure I'll be doing a lot of cleaning videos cleaning these floors. Um, but it just, it finally like is starting to look more like a home. And like I said, in a few days, we're gonna be putting all the lights in. So the next home update will have lights maybe plumbing oh, all the doors are back on here's the room that we decided to go ahead and carry the floors into and i'm really glad we did that and look at that view it's so pretty this is actually a really cool view because you can see the white you can see the white oak you can see the marble and then our black door going into our patio i just think it's so pretty um, and then I'll come over here. We have all the black windows, which I'm loving. The pool's looking really good. I don't know if I've updated you guys on that. The waterfalls were put in. And then we have that same black matching door on this side. <laughs> so this one you can see through, that one has privacy glass. 
but I just want to update you. Um, I'm about to just start putting all the lights in all the rooms and I have to try to remember which lights I bought for which rooms. I will say I labeled them, but then I kept like changing my mind and switching them out. So hopefully I can remember what goes where, but I gotta get some work done. So next time they come in, they can start hanging all the finishing touches. And like I said, in a few weeks, we should be getting to move in. It's probably been about an hour <laughs> since I picked up my camera, but we laid every light in the room with the light bulbs because we're doing daylight, so we want those put in. And then I walked around, and these I haven't put in yet, and every cabinet I put in what, oh, I didn't realize that was divided. Um, there's like a wall there. I put in the hardware that goes there because every room's kind of different for the most part. And then they're not having to guess. So then when they come in, I'll show you. Everything's done for them. So they open this up and they know what hardware they have. That's for the toilet paper. Over here, here's the light, the towel hook, and then Chase is bringing in the mirrors because I bought so many because I didn't know what I was gonna need. And we're gonna decide which mirrors go in which bathrooms because they have to hang the mirror before they hang the lights. So they kind of know the height. But I just wanna show you, I'm coming through and doing all of this so there's no issues and it's even labeled. Um, because obviously like the people coming in like carpenters and all that, they don't know where it's supposed to go. I don't even know half the time. So I just feel like it helps them out. Okay, whew, it's hot. It's humid in here. These mirrors were the ones that were um, by our beds with our lamps. But last minute I pulled them because I had bought what looked like white oak mirrors. Cause we were gonna do these painted white we end up going with oak and it it doesn't match at all. So I think the black would look good in here. What I do you think? think? Would, yeah, I think the black would look what good. What color too. lights are? In here, I was going gold. I would have gold. That would be lights. nice if, it, if that was the case. I kind of want to know. Yeah, we can open it up. I got keys. I have no scissors. <laughs> Put this down. I'm going to get this open and then we can kind of get an idea of what it's going to look what like. What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, it's black. It's black. Well, that's okay. It'll just be black on black. I swore we did gold. I was kind of hoping for gold. I, well, I think we returned the gold. It's like we bought gold, returned it, and replaced Let's it Let's see black. what's in. We may flip them with the powder bathroom lights. If those are gold uh, and we're doing... Let's yeah, see yeah. what we got in there. Okay. Yeah. Like right now. All right, let's go. <laughs> I had so many plans, and then we're coming to put everything in, and I'm like, change plans. Change of plans. Let's see what color these are, because I could you change want to it up. The light colors? Um, yes. Okay. Just what color the lights. I bought these forever ago. And I thought they'd be perfect. And then I thought they weren't gonna work at all. And now they may be perfect. <laughs> what are those? What are those? What are they? I don't even know what I want it to be at this point. It is gold. Okay, so do you think the black lights would look better with these round mirrors in here? That's a good question. So if we keep these mirrors in here, do we want a black light or gold light? I guess what the only difference from this to the Jack and Jill is the hardware color. Are we doing black hardware in here and gold hardware? Yes. So if we're doing gold hardware in there, maybe it needs to mirrors. What should we do? Gold lights or black We lights? probably need to keep it all black in there because I don't know if those two golds are going to match. We can figure it out. Okay. But is this going to look weird with the gold? With the gold light? With the gold light. Let's hold it up and see. Okay. I'm going to set you guys down so I can look at this. Are we taking the light out? Yeah, well, I just like to see it. Is like a shiny one? I think we did gold because it would be black, black, black. Yeah. And I think I bought a lot of gold for this house, and I'm wishing I would have just bought all black. Mm, that's which is not like me. No. But it can always be spray painted, so if I hate it, let's just let them hang it. We can always take it down for a tan for the backup. 
But will you pull yeah, this down? Nice. This, is this is what happens when you buy your lights way too early. <laughs> um, so I like the mirror, I don't like the gold. We only have two gold ones, right? I hope, I think so. Because those are- Those are black. We need Savage to check our bathroom. our bathroom. But I'm just gonna spray paint them. There is a little gold on this, but there's three screws. Can you see that? We're just gonna take it off. I'm gonna spray paint that, spray paint these. Bada bing, bada boom. It's Friday, they won't need them till Monday. I got plenty of time. Mm -hmm. a little first DIY project. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I don't wanna have to return them and I don't wanna have to lose the money because- Well, we can't return them because- We can't we return them because it's, we bought them so long ago, but even if I could, we don't have time to get new ones in before Monday. So, it's just so much easier to paint them. So we'll tape up those, paint them. Now we gotta go see what we're gonna do in our bathroom. Yeah. Fingers crossed, it was black. Ours are gold, I'm pretty sure. And yours is four lights, mine's three lights. I might be painting a lot this weekend. Let's go see. We have had a lot of rain again, if you can tell, so it's kind of slowing us down. Um, but the blue sky's out. It's gonna rain again later, but I wanted to show you they've started installing some of the lights. And so out here on our front porch, that one got put in. I will say the one in right here in my office, I'm gonna switch out eventually. I think we're just gonna close because I couldn't find one to come in in a time. I had originally bought this one for the dining room and then I found a different one. So I was like, hey, I'll just put it in my office, but I'm not loving it. Plus they left it long, I think, because they didn't know where to put it because I wasn't here. Um, so I'll probably have them raise it. And then I found one I liked, but it's like a few weeks out and hopefully we've closed and are moving in at that point. <laughs> um, so Chase will just do it. I had also ordered three pendant lights um, a long, long time ago, but like this white backsplash is just throwing me off on everything. So I actually um, ordered two big black ones for right there and they're gonna be in in a couple days. Um, so that'll be nice. Savvy found a little spot. <laughs> um, but here's our dining room light. It's gonna be hard to tell because of the window. But it's really big and pretty. We might hang it up just a little bit higher. I honestly think they put a lot of the things lower um, and then they're gonna ask us. Um, but then over here in Chase's office, we were here when they were installing it and he asked how high we wanted it and we just said like one rod. I like how high it is, but Chase wants it longer. <laughs> so this one we're actually gonna bring down one more rod, which is probably about 12 inches, I think. So that'll look good, but I love his light. Um, but if you can tell, all the baseboards are in. They've worked on a lot of the outlets. They came over just from like eight to noon on Saturday. Normally crews aren't in here on weekends, but they know the builder's trying to get it done. And they moved fast for only being here for a little bit. Um, so, so, got the mirrors and stuff in. Oh, I think the last time I talked to you guys, I should really write myself notes. I was telling you I was going to spray paint these. I didn't have time. The builder called and was like, hey, they're coming out Saturday, which they never do. I thought I was gonna have all weekend to get them painted. So I was like, go ahead and get it hung. And if I don't like it, Chase can take it down and I can spray paint it once we move in. But I'm actually kind of liking it in here with like the black, the white, the gold. We have the white oak and then the marble. So depending on what we do here, I really like the design of it. So I don't know if I'll paint it or not. I'm considering that mirror, but then I took a picture of it and looked at it later and I don't know. But like I said, a lot of the outlets are in. You know what though, I'm standing here and they're done painting and look, you can see right there where I painted those sample splotches. Tell me I'm not crazy, <laughs> I can see them there. So the lights thing has become an issue because I bought a few originally that I'm not liking now. <laughs> I might take this one and have them put it up in my office just until I can find something else. The reason is it has the straight arm like this one, see how it goes straight and then curves up because that's what this light does too, it's not hung yet. But this one I think is driving me crazy because it's got more of a curved arm. So at least when you came in and like saw all three, they would be somewhat of the same style. The problem is, is I don't have 
a place for this one. It's so big, it can't go above the tub and I don't think it'll fit in my closet because we have those like pull down seasonal rods again. And of course this one's like the one we spent the most amount of money on. I don't even know how that happened. <laughs> like, the one for our bedroom. Like this is obviously gonna be the biggest one in here. The second biggest light is gonna be here in our master. And it was like the most affordable light. I'll have to show you once we get it up, but I even asked them, I was like, is it missing a zero? Why is it so cheap? Because lighting's not cheap. The only thing I don't like about this one, and I didn't realize it until I was like shopping later, like how everything attaches. So it's got the perfect straight arm and then curve up, but this is so thick, like every little rod goes up. And so there's like a cluster right here, which I don't love. It's me being picky, but I just, don't love it. I like the kind that are like this and it goes up and it just goes into one pole, but at least they would have the same arms. So I've got to, when Chase comes in, he's unloading the truck right now. It is so muddy out there and our driveway is not poured. <laughs> um, so like when I came in, I didn't want to get the floors dirty. And so I'm just barefoot. It's the first time it kind of feels like home because I'm walking around without shoes. But he's out there unloading just a few things. I'm going to wait and see what he thinks about the lights. And we'll go from there. non-stop again so this is what it looks like until we get inside <laughs> normally when I pick up my camera we're already in but we just have boots out here gotta have those boots <laughs> we can't even park in our driveway because it's like so muddy and wet my car will get stuck um, so we park on this side we wear our boots and then we walk over but we've had lots of changes so let's go inside and see I swear we have a thing for water <laughs> wherever we go it floods but like look at all this which it will be fixed once we get moved in, <laughs> but it's like it on this side too. So basically the trash people were supposed to come today and they couldn't because they can't walk over there. Oh yeah, but they didn't. So they were gonna Sorry, it's gonna be hard to hear, but this is how Chase gets into the building. Will I do that? No way. <laughs> he comes and gets into this door for me. I take the easy way out. <laughs> I'm not gonna balance on that. Um, but we're slowly getting stuff moved in. I don't know if you can tell it all from the last one. Basically, every time we come, we bring a load, or at least a handful. It's hard right now because of this. Normally, we can pull back our car in and unload it so we can bring like a big load. Right now, we're just bringing like a handful of things because we have to park in front of the house. and. It's hard, but yeah, look at all this. I don't know what it is with us and water. It's like insane. No matter where we go, there's water. If you guys are in a drought, just have us over. Invite us down for a week. Especially if you're in like California, we'll come. <laughs> we'll come stay, see your beautiful state, and we'll bring water. Because <laughs> where we go, it goes. Here is the laundry room. So the faucet got put in today, which is so nice. So we had them adjust it because like the sink they put in uncentered. So I didn't want this uncentered with the window. So we just put this center. So if you look real close, it's off to the left, but it's a long story. <laughs> we can't control our plumbers. I've tried, but basically this is all from the window. So we put this off just so it, when you look in here, I don't think you're gonna look at the sink. You're gonna look at the faucet. So we just kind of rigged that up. Um, so that's in. That looks really good. I just noticed this light was in. That's looking good. So originally I had a light for here, but I decided I didn't like it and I cannot find one that I like. So I'm just not going to put a light up there for now. It's wired. So the wires are up there when we need it, but I'm not doing it anytime soon. Maybe one day if I fall in love with the light, then I will. But our faucets in right there, our lights. Some black water running down or something. That's yummy. <laughs> yeah. 
and then in here they hung <laughs> Okay, so they hung our light. Originally, this was supposed to be in our living room. We found it. It was like a steal, but we ended up finding something different. So we're like, we're just going to put it in our bedroom. I had no idea how big <laughs> it was going to be in here. Now, I will say it's like a big room, like it's super tall, um, and there's not a lot in here. Like, we're going to have our bed, our nightstands, a chair, the TV. It's just like how our is set up now except like on ours we have that fireplace it won't be going in here so i feel like it i don't know it just fills up the space really well let me see if i can turn it on dang but um i don't know if you can tell on camera but it's like it's huge it's huge but i love it and then in here i don't know if i'm repeating myself i'm sorry guys <laughs> like i can't remember like when i filmed what i said before I think we saw this, but it was lower. So they raised it. Our living room lights in. It's kind of hard to tell with the ladder. Let me go over here. Oh, it looks good. So yeah, once we found this one, I was like, okay, I want that in my living room. So we got this like matching one. It's just more simple. And then originally this was supposed to go into the dining room because the one that's in our master bedroom was gonna be in the living room. So they both were that like curved. So I'm gonna eventually replace this one. I just can't find anything right now. So until I find it, we're just gonna leave that hung because I don't wanna rush into a light, just to rush into a light. And then they put the faucet in, the microwave. We're ripping out <laughs> the backsplash this week. I know it's a little much, but I just cannot make it work. And then I was supposed to have three white and gold pendants here, but seeing all this white, I can't do it. So we ordered like two big black ones. I really feel like I've said this to you guys, so I'm sorry if I'm like repeating myself. I'm losing it over here. They did lower chases. Chase wanted to put one more rod in there and it does look good. So that was a good choice. Um, they got the faucets in here and oh, they got the lights. Those look so good. We're gonna put those mirrors in here. Um, they brought the tub in, which looks super deep. Um, so when the plumbers like originally did our plumbing, they did it all wrong. So they thought this was the shower and then the other one was the bathtub. Anyways, it got switched. So like they're having to build a ledge here. I don't know, they're doing something, but it's gonna work out well because I'm gonna have like a little ledge for um, like bottles like shampoo or conditioner or I'm even thinking like if you're shaving your legs So I think it's gonna turn out and be okay, but I want to see it first We could have ordered like a custom tub to fit this space But it would have just been too much and honestly this bathroom is gonna get used the least um, So y'all come in here I think you guys have seen in here already. I want to say yeah, I don't know if you saw the faucet, but I think you guys have seen the light. Let's see if they did the back patio light. Did they, did they? No, they didn't. So that'll be in the next one. Everything looking good over there? Yeah, I'm just trying to clean it all up and get it ready for a demo of the backsplash. Oh, okay. And then the only reason we came back here tonight is they're gonna put in the button for my um, garbage disposal. And it's gonna go on this side unless I tape it off. And over here I do like, my soap, my dish soap, and then my sponge. So I want it right here. So I'm gonna take a piece of tape because they're coming first thing in the morning to cut a hole. So I'm probably gonna do it like right here because then I do my paper towels. I'm trying to set this up like how I would at home. <laughs> so basically here's like my soap, my other soap. I will have like a little thing here with my sponge. And then here is my paper towels. So I think right there will be perfect for the button. Um, they did install this today. This is supposed to be a matching one. Like we had it setting together and it's just like gone. So I don't know if they didn't want to put it in. If they threw it away, we tried to go through the trash, but I don't know what we'll do about that. I don't know if this one's just better to have, but we bought, like we paid extra to get one that matched this, but we can like not find it anywhere. But I try to always show you guys this view because this is what I'll be looking at doing my dishes, which is all the time. I don't even cook often and I do dishes all the time, but it'll be nice. I can sit here and watch TV. I can see outside. I don't know if you guys can see that. It'll be a very pretty view once we get in here. It's finally starting to feel a little bit more like home. I'll say most of the time at this stage, 
it feels more like home before we move. But I think we just still have so much to do that I haven't quite hit it, like hit it to that point. But it's getting at least a little better. Like even Savannah said, we were walking around barefoot the other day and we're like, okay, we're starting to fill it just a little bit. We're getting there, slowly but surely. <laughs> Oh, I just, I just wish I could go like this, like YouTube magic and boom, and it'd be like decorated and clean and done. Can we just move like that? I wish we could just. If only you could. <laughs> it's like, my snap's not working like the other YouTubers. <laughs> I wish I could hang those TVs just like that. Yeah. That one I'm not looking forward to. So in our current house, I didn't make him hang any TVs. Like going in, I said, Chase, we're not gonna be here long. Don't waste your time. But here, we know we're gonna be here a while. So we're pretty much hanging every TV. So you'll see that in every like makeover video. But as much as like, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to organize every space and decorate it and fill it, and make it feel homey. Chase is like, I have to hang a TV in every single space. <laughs> so we'll have one in here, the movie room, Savvy's room. The guest bedroom, our room, we'll have one out here on the patio and then one in his building. So he's got a ton. <laughs> what you doing? It's uh, it's messing that mantle up. <laughs> it's starting to come apart, so I'm going to push this over here so our mantle doesn't separate like it is. I think you guys think I'm particular. Oh, I'm very And I've, I've got nothing on Chase. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, on the corner here, but it's already coming off just from all the weight. It's separated. Oh yeah, and it it's really like that is. On the other side too. It's up here on the other side. Camera's gonna focus. Focus. But it it's is just from the weight of that thing leaning on it for the past two weeks. Wow, good thing you saved it. Oh yeah, it's really bad over here. Blue tape. Blue tape. It's gonna get tape. I was gonna take you guys inside, but I decided I wanted you guys to have a few surprises when I post my new home tour, which should be the next one after this video, if I'm thinking of it right. Um, and I just don't want you to see everything. So I am gonna go ahead and end this here. Um, be on the lookout for that video because I'm so excited to share it. <laughs> I can't wait for this to get finished up so I can film it for you guys. But thank you so much for being here and I will see you in the next one. Bye.